Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of StarCraft 2. We are now going to begin the Legacy of the Void, which actually includes like two small separate campaigns and then the main story, but we'll be compiling everything into one single playlist, Legacy of the Void. And the first three missions are actually the prologue missions, which came out prior to the full game launch. And of course we're going to do those. The Whispers of Oblivion. And maybe as you can hear, I have a slight cold, so apologies if I sound a bit, you know, a bit weird. We're going to do a new campaign, and we're going to be playing on Brutal once again. So, Whispers of Oblivion. In an era of great uncertainty, the Dark God, Aemon, has been reborn on the unknown world, heralding the doom for all life in the Caprulu Sector. Before returning to his people to face their judgment, Seratul scours the galaxy to find a way to stop the coming darkness. In this late hour, he seeks the last fragment of an ancient prophecy that could provide a ray of hope. So I'm kind of confused as to why Amon has apparently revived already. Bit weird. As it was foretold, Amon, the Dark God, lives again. If any hope remains for our galaxy, it lies in the hands of the Zelnaga. Only one piece of the prophecy remains unfulfilled. That on the world where Amon was reborn, the last light will be revealed. There is one being who knew that location. A creature known as Samir Duran. Or to the Terrans, as Naru. In this system hides a long-forgotten Mobius facility. I must hope his secrets still rest within its walls. Zeratul, it is a great honor. I am Praetor Talus, and I humbly request your aid. An unknown force has been abducting Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the Swarm. The Swarm? I'm on my way, Talus. May Adun hide you until I arrive. Our brethren are being held prisoner across the complex. We must free them before the Swarm overwhelms the facility. Zeratul. I thought I sensed your presence. Let's not mince words. Why are you here? This place holds information I seek, and my captured brethren. I intend to free them both from the Terran's grip. This facility is a breeding ground for Amon's hybrid army. My swarm will erase it from existence. But I know that won't stop you. So let me make this clear. Stay out of our way, Zeratul. Do not fear. We will not abandon this fight, Talus. If we are swift and clever, we can avoid the swarm. Very well. I have made our nexus point ready for your arrival. All right, we're going to get ourselves some workers to begin. The captive Templar are kept just ahead. Ready your blades, warriors. Just get some workers. Carrigan will send the swarm to destroy the station's reactor. We must free our brothers before that happens. Dark prelate, we will need to cross the swarm's attack route to reach the captives. Move forward only when it is clear. Avoid the Zerg's forces at all costs. Get the second Vespian Geyser there. Let's get ourselves a sentry now. I want to get the energy. And I kind of regret doing that. I wish I got an upgrade instead. Okay, we're almost supply blocked. So let's get ourselves a pylon here. 
to another pylon there. The swarm gathers for an attack. Warriors, stay clear of the Zerg's path. Construct additional pylon. Almost. It's not too bad. Slightly supply box, but it's okay. Minions, push forward. Slay these hybrid thralls to the last. I already know that attack wave is coming there, actually. Get the shield upgrade first, honestly. We have three there now. We have a lot of supply. We're gonna get a stalker as soon as we can. Good stuff. So it's a bit slow, a bit of a slow start, but we start with so few probes. And I mean, these missions are not that difficult. I mean, they are kind of like tutorial missions for the Protoss um, setting up the game. And maybe as you may have noticed in the opening scene, but the tone is a bit more kitty, I'd say. A bit more like for a younger demographic than the previous like Heart of the Swarm was. Maybe it's just that the Protoss are a bit hammy. I I don't know. Because I feel like Wings of Liberty, if the target audience was like 13. See, this seems like a bit exaggerated. Okay, that's good. And we lost our poor sentry, unfortunately. Surely. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. But don't call me Shirley. Unfortunately, I am a bit sick, as I said before, so hopefully I can cut out most of the sniffles, but it is what it is. Five more probes, and I will be fully saturated here. And there's actually an expansion right there that we'll be getting later. Keep getting units. Upgrade complete. So, how are we doing in terms of gateways? Pretty good. We're actually going to wait for one additional attack wave. They're going to attack us once again, right here. And then we're going to go and attack. Yeah, as I was saying... If Wings of Liberty's target audience was maybe like 13 to 14 year olds, like as its core demographic, with obviously the old StarCraft 1 veterans also included in that, and the part of the swarm maybe being for an audience that's maybe a year or two older, then I feel like this one kind of goes back to Wings of Liberty or maybe even slightly younger. And I feel like that's a bit of a shame. That is, of course, juxtaposed to the fact that the um, campaign is the hardest of the three like this is a lot harder than well not this particular mission but the campaign later does become harder than part of the swarm in my opinion I'm gonna get another sentry because they have the shield recharge which is quite good and guardian shield is of course very strong and then i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a robo or some immortals while we're at it let's get a pylon as well try to keep the supply going Another sentry, another stalker. We have lots of uh, chrono boosts right now. And the what's fun is that the Protoss right now kind of play like the ladder Protoss did at the time. With the exception of the, I think, sentry having this shield recharge instead of hallucination. But then the campaign Protoss for Legacy of the Void play completely differently. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Oh. Alright, so I feel pretty justified in waiting that long. So let's save. As you can see, I kind of tried this mission already. Um, and I forgot about the second attack wave, and I lost all my production. I was like all, all over the way over here. And I lost everything, so uh, I had to restart. And I figured, you know, let's just start fresh. 
by yeah supply block like crazy i'm gonna blame being sick and not that i'm a bad player there that should tide us over for quite a while let's wait for this immortal immortals are quite good and i am eventually gonna want to get a uh, robo bay Maybe getting tech now is kind of ridiculous until we get the expansion, but we're actually kind of strapped for Vespian Gas, so I'll queue the next Immortal, and now we're going to go. Okay. Save. Save. Because I do not want to be attacked by a wave. Although when they are here, I don't think you can be attacked by a wave. There's actually a challenge to destroy Kerrigan. Um, I won't be doing it this game, but, you know, it is there. So yeah, once you reach critical mass, the Protoss are so good. We're going to chill for a bit. Honestly, getting maybe another sentry. Serve the master. Well, just for that, we're going to commit some war crimes. That's right. Yeah. That means it's okay to kill them, guys. Justified Genocide. Get that, and let's actually get a Colossi. Tear apart their reactor. The Queen of Blades demands it. We don't have infinite amount of time. I think the mission ends in like 24 minutes, something like that. Oh, shit. There we go. Guardian shield should have been used. Oh, that's not good. This is not good at all. I still think we can kill this, but I might actually reload real quick. That's why we save. You know. It was poorly controlled by me. Oh, all the way over here? Wow. Okay. Well, I'll be a bit more proactive with my saves. Uh, Guardian Shield? Perfect. We have all the upgrades. Oh, oopsies. Poor Sullet. I might actually, yeah, get some more Sullets. And let's get a Colossi. And considering they didn't attack us, I think we're cool with, uh, we'll wait for these forces, but I think we're fine when it comes to getting stuff. I really want to get more Colossi. I think that would be very strong. The Zerg forces will move soon. We must be cautious. their reactor. The Queen of Blades demands it. I'll get a few more solids. And another pylon right there. With the Colossi, I think we're in a really good position. We're going to save one more time. My mouse is kind of glitching out, so it's kind of chopping. I think I need to replace the batteries. Oh, I forgot about this attack. Well, that's not good. Did this happen last time? I don't think it did. I could be wrong, though. Hmm. Okay, we're going to head back here. We're going to take care of that attack wave first, and then we will destroy the Protoss. I mean, destroy the uh, Terrans. Okay, there we go.
not talking quite as much as I usually do, but yeah, that's because I'm sick. Sorry. Yeah, having the Colossi, very strong. I basically just want to get lots and lots of Colossi. Maybe a few more Immortals as well. I want to get some more pylon. And I think with this force, we should be good. You never know. I might do like a little mistake or something, but I think we're fine at this point. Let's Guardian Shield up. And then just A move to victory. Yeah, there should be a Seeker missile here at some point. Yeah. That's ah, fine. Death Ball for the win. Oh yeah, I remember now, all of a sudden, like completely unrelated to the cutscene we just saw. Warriors, there is another cell ahead. Go forth and claim the vengeance you seek. Alright, as I was going to say, I remember now when the, the Amon came back, Narud said that in one of the uh, Skygear missions, the final Skygear mission. We're actually going to head here first. Uh, impossible. That's illegal. We should eliminate these Terrans and reclaim the pylon for ourselves. Yeah, very nice. Swarm will begin another assault soon. Oh. How long have I had? Reclaiming the pylon now. It is hard to believe such primitive beasts could manipulate our technology. Yeah. Primitive beasts. That's right. Okay, so remember how I said this was like more kid aimed? I kind of changed my mind now from these little blurbs. I feel like the Protoss are just so hammy that I thought so. They're so over dramatic, but not exactly the biggest attack wave. So the reason I'm keeping my forces there where they are is because we're actually going to get a bridge to link up our forces. I don't want to have to run with them all the way. Maybe that's foolish. I wish you could, like, open these pods. This hero zealot over there. Will we be able to save him? Oh, yeah, we did. Well, there you go. Yeah, basically, what you do is you... If you want to kill Kerrigan, is you go from the front here and you wipe her out. We're actually slightly on a bit of a crunch time at this point. Uh-huh. Come on. Oh, come on. Run. Well, I feel foolish for running and then, like, screwing up. But doing this is going to give us a lot of reinforcements. Specifically, these reinforcements. And yeah, we are a bit on the clock right now. Kill that, please. Let's get a few more sentries. 
and another Colossi. We have more gateways. We are floating a lot of minerals, so I think we'll be able to get the base here. I should honestly disable one of the... That's fine. I should disable one of these sentries for their energy regen thing, just so that I can get the... Um, what do you call it? I'm gonna get a round of zealots, actually. I want the expansion for the Vespian gas as soon as we can get it. Your time is running short, Zeratul. Kerrigan, you know as well as I that Aemon lives. Slaying his hybrid is a meaningless act. We must awaken the Zelnaga. No response. Huh. Better to reason with a stone than a zerg. The final cell awaits us, Zeratul. We should delay no longer. I'm just going to grab the resources because I can. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to... Okay, kill this first. That might have been a mistake. Run, run away, please. The swarm prepares to assault Mobius Corps' final defenses. We must travel swiftly. Those who side with Amon's hybrid deserve no mercy. Devour them whole. Hopefully I'm not losing everything while I'm doing this. Doesn't seem like I lost everything. That's good. Keep my units together, please. Somewhat. I think we have maybe like five attacks worth before we're screwed. Okay, keep getting the... Colossi. Oh yeah, there's the thing again. What do you call it? The, not warp gate, the other one. Pylon. There we go. Get more stalkers. Not enough minerals. Wow. Hopefully... I actually need some zealots. Oh, that's good that we have minerals here. We actually desperately need them. Let's get a zealot here and a few more stalkers. Because I'm pretty sure there were resources right there. Okay, I'm going to save this in case. I think we can hold off for one more attack. But after this one attack wave, I think we have to go. I think that, yeah, I think we're basically... We're actually given some reinforcements. That's nice. Minions, go forth and slaughter. I wish to be done with this already. State thy bidding. It shall be as you say. You have not enough minerals. Yeah, okay, they held off. That was good. Okay, we have to go now. But I think we have a good enough force that we can just power through. The hero zealot there tanking the uh, seeker missile shot. Fortunately, send an auto turret instead of another missile. I think we just barely have enough forces. It was pretty close though. Honestly, it is pretty close though. Yeah, wow, that was that was not that could have ended really poorly. But look, there's a high templar right here. We 
Thank you, brothers. The Taldarim have been abducting Templar, bringing them to Terran stations, turning us into a hybrid. The Taldarim? Those heretics have never ventured so close to our worlds. This can only be the work of Amon. Templar, where were they holding you? His El Naga Temple, unlike any I have seen. It was called Eris, but its location was kept a secret from us. Mobius and the Taldarim both served under Naruf's command. He would have known the location of this temple. The Atreus system. This is where Amon was reborn, deep within the Sigma Quadrant and under Taldarim guard. You have aided me in my quest, Zeratul. I am honor bound to help you in yours. We shall help you claim this temple. So Talos would not have helped Sarah Tool if it weren't for her, her being honor bound to help him. Is that what she's saying? Doesn't really make sense. My forces have secured a location near the okay, We're gonna we're gonna play this next episode. So yeah. Well, anyways, that was that mission. A bit more difficult than I remember it being, but we persevered and we beat it. Join us next time where we continue with Ghosts in the Fog, the continuation of the prologue Legacy of the Void campaign. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I upload StarCraft 2 every week on Saturdays, and I upload a bunch of other content on the other days of the week. So, daily content. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.